Today we'll talk about linear regression. My name is Ronak Vyas and this video is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. To watch more videos on machine learning and programming, do subscribe to the channel. In this video, we'll start with what is linear regression, the intuition behind the algorithm and understanding all the elements of it. In the next video, we'll look at the implementation. Let's have an overview of linear regression. It is one of the most basic machine learning algorithm and easy to implement. The algorithm has already been used in statistics and is a common process used in many applications of statistics in the real world. So what is linear regression? By definition, it is used for finding a linear relationship between the target and one or more predictors. The idea behind linear regression is to fit the observations of two variables into a linear relationship between them. In simple terms, the task is to draw the line that is best fitting or closest to the points where the x, y coordinates are observations of the two variables which are expected to depend linearly on each other. In more simpler terms, given two variables x and y, the model can predict values of y given future observations of x. This idea is used to predict variables in countless situations. Example, the outcome of political elections or the behavior of the stock market or the performance of a professional athlete. There are two types of linear regression, simple and multiple. In this video, we'll only cover simple linear regression. So we had talked about drawing a line that is closest to the points which are our variables. This line can be modeled based on a linear equation shown on the slide. Here, x and y are our variables which will be present in the data set. The motive of the linear regression algorithm is to find the best values for a0 and a1 which we call the parameters. Before moving on to the algorithm, let's have a look at two important concepts you must know before understanding linear regression. The cost function. The cost function helps us to figure out the best possible values for a0 and a1 which would provide the best fit line for the data points. The difference between the predicted values and the ground truth measures the error difference. We square the error difference and sum over all the data points and divide that value by the total number of data points. This provides the average squared error over all the data points. Therefore, this cost function is also known as the mean square error. By cost, I mean the cost of incorrectly predicting a data point or how far the line is from the point. Mathematically, we find the mean distance between all the points and we want to minimize that distance so that the line fits the data perfectly. To minimize the cost function, we use a technique called gradient descent. The next important concept needed to know linear regression is gradient descent. Gradient descent is a method of updating A0 and A1 to reduce the cost function. The idea is that we start with some values of A0 and A1 and then we change these values iteratively to reduce the cost. Gradient descent helps us how to change the values. To update A0 and A1, we take gradients from the cost function. To find these gradients, we take partial derivatives with respect to A0 and A1. Now to understand how partial derivatives work, you would require some calculus but if you don't, it is alright. You can take it as it is. The partial derivatives are the gradients and they are used to update the values of a0 and a1. Alpha is the learning rate here, which is a hyperparameter that you must specify. A small learning rate could get you closer to the minima, but takes more time to reach the minima. A larger learning rate converges sooner, but there is a chance that you could overshoot the minima. This can be depicted on the slide. To implement the algorithm, we have two choices. We can use the scikit-learn library to import the linear regression model and use it directly or we can write our own regression based model based on the equations above. In the next video, we'll implement the algorithm using scikit-learn library. Thank you.